Hello guys, this is Mr. Rad Visual. Um, in this video, I'm going to answer one of the frequently asked questions about how to produce a good architectural elevation for presentations and documents. Before any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Before we start, let me ask you to like, share and comment. If you have any questions to ask, feel free to do so. If you are new, make sure you do the right thing. And the right thing is to subscribe to this channel for more exclusive videos. For this exercise, we're going to use this project. It's made up of an MS Beam Archicad template. So if you want it, I'll put in the link in the description so that you can go and download it. Um, we're going to look at um, this elevation, 1A2. So if you go to your view map here, in this template, uh, the views are organized in a folder or the folder based um, structure where you can open um, folders to access these views for example in this case we're going to open a architectural and then under elevations there's one elevation which is this um, view so you can either open it from the view map or you can select it on the ground or on the floor plan view and then right click to open with the current settings like so perfect so for for us to produce a very good um, elevation we need we need to understand components that uh, comes together as part of that composition so we have I've prepared um, images that we're going to use and uh, uh, elements that we're going to use. So we have the this image as a background, and then we have also this image also that will add depth to our background, which is the um, silhouettes for birds flying in the sky. So the background is going to put our drawing into context. And then it's also, it's also going to add um, the scene and highlight its subject. Another important thing is to we're going to enhance the subject and its environment using this um, background. But the most important thing is to distinguish different elements and determine depth in this drawing. So in this case, I've prepared this in this template. This is what we prepared. Um, the image was uh, downloaded from internet and then using photoshop um, to tone down the, the 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 intensity of the image so that it can serve the purpose of being it in a background yeah another component is the annotations and uh, the labeling of of levels in in the elevation so in this case in this template we have this prepared this is adjustable it's been grouped as you can see the label and the level line are being grouped together to adjust also the height of the of the of the of the element for example if i drop this to be there this will be the apex of the building so you can see automatically it adjust the label also i think for all for all the components here are like that can adjust this one to there and then bring it back just like that for example you in this template focus only on modeling and then once you are done with your modeling of your project you come in this views to adjust the information where it's supposed to so that's the good part of using a template so I will take this um, background and move it to the zero level like so and then let's drag also the flying bed maybe put it somewhere here perfect and then i'm going to use the field to form a base of my my drawing like so just to overlay some of the components that one we don't want to show just like that Perfect. What I did to this field is I've, I've, I've switched off the outline. You can do so if you want, but it's going to make the border across your 
your field but what i want to do is just to switch it off because i have a line that will represent uh, that which is this line and then i will also change its weight to a heavier line as you can see it's on pen 149 perfect i think everything now is almost in place what the next step is to go to the settings if you click on this view and right click then let's go to elevation settings in this window we are going to focus under model display let's focus on this here you can adjust the view oh you can't i wanted to stretch to open up this but you can't you can only scroll like so so but before we can change anything here let us understand some of the features that are here in the model display we have the cut elements which is the the first in this view the cut elements that represent only elements that have been cut and then we have the uncut elements which is basically what you see on the elevation it representation is a is a oh my word it's a representation of what we see in our elevation <laughs> sorry about that yeah and then we have the sun and shadows and then the mark distance area but let us start first at the top the undercut elements i'm going to change the cut surfaces the fill cut surfaces to own surface colors own surface colors like so and then i'll go under uncut elements then let's change the fill uncut surfaces with also own surfaces um, color and then what i'm going to do uncut elements pen i'll leave it there or let's uncheck this I don't want to uniform everything and check it so that but you, okay sorry let me just let me just do that and then I'll use I'll uniform every line that is on the elevation and then this line will be six on the color pa uh, color table another component is vectorial 3d hatching if you want to show your hatching to represent the texture of your your surfaces you can click on the this box for vectorial hatching if you go down here and then also transparency is important if you want to have transparency of the glass and other materials so under sun and shadows i'm going to um check the box for the sun sun shadow and then make sure the settings here the the fill type i think 50 percent it's fine for now but uh, i can change the color to maybe black yeah i like black and then we are good to go i think everything we've set you can check all the settings perfect and then let's hit ok to see the results there we go this is what we get um, the problem that i i've noticed here is the shadows and all the light so let's go back and revise that what I'll do, I'll change the field type to maybe 25%. And then let's uncheck and transparency and 3D hatching. Hit OK. Perfect. I think it's. Let's go back again and um, check something. If you go down the, oh, 
uh, maybe change um, let's check the shadows just check examples of of each settings so this is what you get if you uncheck your shadows but I want depth in my drawing so go back here yeah, I'll transparency and shadows and then the other thing is uh, maybe we can advise the, the fill pen to something like that something lighter another thing that we can check is maybe let's use shaded for the uncut let's check perfect this is very nice this is what i wanted so yeah basically those are the settings guys um you can copy them or if you can copy them or this template is already set for this um settings so you can just go and download the template and reuse it once you are done with modeling it automatically set your your elevations or your views to this standard another thing that you can track maybe is to change the the overrides graphic overrides if you change to presentation solid it will also give you this effect perfect yeah um that was it guys um thank you for watching um i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe uh, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one but if you really want to improve the quality of your your architectural drawings or the quality of your modeling or the quality of your workflow i recommend you to check the ms beam products i'll put the link on the description so you can go and download they have a lot of um, pro uh, products that you can um, reuse and customize to your own practice so yeah check the link in the description for for that i'll see you in the next video bye bye